So we welcome you to the second session of Bella Me. And my name is Miss Heather and I'm the County 4-H agent. And we have Miss Paulette and she's the County Livestock and Natural Resources agent. So she specializes in all that stuff, specifically Bella Me. So who do you think we're waiting on this morning? We're waiting on a big guy that's gonna join us, right? Miss Paulette, do you think you could go try to find Bella Me for us? I think you might've got lost. You might have, hang tight. Uh-oh, so hold on, everybody wait. Bellamy might be coming. <gasps> Uh-oh, Bellamy here? He might be here, you ready? Bellamy, yay! We're so glad you could join us, Bellamy. All right, so we're in Bellamy's classroom, right? All right, so in Bellamy's classroom today, we're gonna learn what is a spring and about the circle of life. So you guys wanna know where all your water comes from, right? All right, Bellamy, are you ready to learn about the water and where it comes from? Yeah. All right, Bellamy. So we got to make sure all of our teachers know a little bit of Zoom housekeeping. Just some things to keep in mind is up at the top of your screen, you should see view. And if you click view and change it to speaker mode, then you can actually see just us talking. So it'll make it much easier for you. The next thing, is there some reactions? You guys can use those and we could potentially see the things that you have on the screen because I'm looking right at the Zoom so I can see what you guys are saying. Uh, the other thing is the chat. We do have the chat up. So if I can, you have something, you can't hear us, something happens, you can let us know immediately. And then the other thing is the mute and the stop video or start video. So whenever we get towards the end, we'll let you be able to unmute and have your classes up and you'll be able to wave and say hey Bellamy right all right so just so everybody knows we are recording this so we're going to make sure that all the other classes that missed it this morning are able to see it all right Miss Paulette you want to start us out and give us some stuff about what is a spring so hang on just a second she's going to join us again okay Bellamy you're going to stay with me or you're going to leave you're gonna hang, okay, you're gonna go away. Bellamy's taking a break. All right, well, I don't blame you. Okay, well, good morning, everybody. My name's pa Miss Paulette, and uh, as Miss Heather said, I am the Livestock and Natural Resources Extension Agent here in Columbia County. And this morning, I wanna ask you what a spring is. Does anybody know what a spring is? Anybody have any idea what a spring is? You can raise your hand, teachers, if somebody thinks that they know. I don't see any hands being raised. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just go ahead. So a spring, actually defined in the dictionary is when we spring, we spring up, you jump. Everybody knows about springing up. I should have had Bellamy here so he could have sprung up. Well, a spring, when it relates to natural resources and the water is a place where water bubbles out of the ground. And um, why does it bubble out of the ground? Because it comes from underneath the ground. <laughs> All right. So when I said that the water comes from under the ground, it comes from what we call the aquifer. Now, what I would like is all the teachers to actually unmute at this time, and we're going to say two words. The first one is spring. I want everybody to be able to say the word spring. Okay, let's unmute. And on, on three, we're going to say spring. So ready? One, two, three. Spring. Fantastic. Okay, fantastic. Now, Hang tight, we're gonna say one more word, and that's aquifer. That's a little more difficult. So now if any of the other teachers wanna unmute, you go ahead. All right, so we're gonna go on one, two, three, aquifer. Okay. Very good, you guys are good. All right, so you can mute back if you want to, or you can still stay with us. All right, so with the the anatomy of a spring or the way that a spring is actually formed is we have the ground layer. And I don't know that you can see this very well, but if you can, there's kind of a line that runs along here. And this is a, a side view of the earth. If we could excavate down, dig down and see what was, um, what was layering, this is what we would see. You would see the sand or see grass, and then sand and maybe some rocks and that sort of thing. And then we get down to a layer that's really very rocky. And in this rock, we find a lot of limestone because that's what Florida's made of mostly underneath the ground is limestone. 
And in that limestone, we find big caverns. Can you see perhaps some of these big cavities that are formed? It's almost like an underground river. And this river, that is what we call the aquifer, okay? And the aquifer system, every once in a while, it just can't be contained and it springs out of the ground. And when it springs out of the ground, we call it a spring. It's very simple. Now, I know that most of you have um, probably visited or at least heard of where Bellamy comes from, which is called the Isatuckney Springs. So with that, I'm going to hold tight. I think Mrs. Miss Heather is going to come up and she's going to tell you a little bit about the circle of life. Yes, Miss Paulette, she told us all about the springs, right? And springs are important because what? We need the, what's that big thing? Anybody, can you unmute? Teachers, what do we need from the springs? What are, the, what are springs made out of? What's in there? Starts with a W. Do you remember? Water. 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 Yeah, exactly. So springs have water in them. So everything in the circle of life needs water. So we've got fish and what other animals do you think are at a spring? Anybody? Can we unmute? Can you guess any animals? Hey. Alligators. Alligators, yes. What else? Fish. 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 Oh, sorry in the water, but it's out in the ocean. Fish. The other big animal that we always want to see. Fish. 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 There's another animal. One big animal. Hold on. What big animal? I'll let you guess. Belly the bat. What big animal do you see at the river? What big animal do you see at the spring? Beavers. We got Bellamy beavers. Yeah, exactly. So there's all kinds of animals, and if we lose one of them, then one of them doesn't really, like if we don't have water to grow wood, Bellamy wouldn't have wood to eat. And so that messes up the whole circle of life. He wouldn't, he would starve, right? So we've got to have all the stuff out there. And without water, we can't have all that stuff. So we want to go back. You know, Miss Paulette talked about this line of stuff. And up here is dirt and trees and where your house grows, right? This line that you see that's where it shows underground. So what we're gonna work on is we're going to actually show you how that stuff works. So down here, you got little pockets of water and I wanna be able to help you do one of these in your classroom. It's called, remember you learned that word? An aquifer, right? So we're gonna work on doing an edible aquifer. So teachers will send you this recipe after we finish. But this morning, we're gonna work on actually building an aquifer and you guys could see in the the picture if you can see it really well we've got cookies down here that are like rocks we got this pudding and that is like the dirt because whenever you have all these rocks it's kind of like back in this picture you've got rocks all down here and this dirt up here kind of goes down into the rocks too and so the water sinks down into all of it so Whenever we, because we'll have pudding, we'll have cookies, and we'll have Sprite that we'll pour on top. And I know it sounds a little funny, but it tastes really good still. So you'll see the Sprite start sinking down. You see all these little bubbles? That's where the Sprite went into the rocks. And then that creates the spring where the water, we can be able to drill down. We'll use a straw for that. And we'll try to pump it up. And that's how you get your water is. It's actually pumped to you, right? So it's like a spring in a way. So we're gonna try to work on making that stuff. All right, first thing you'll need is a Ziploc. Some kind of little baggie, right? All right, and we're gonna do two cookies. And we chose those chocolatey with cream in them. It'll be kind of good. So we're gonna throw those in a bag, right? This is gonna be your most favorite part. Everybody likes to smash cookies, right? So we're gonna crunch them up. All right, crunch, 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 crunch. All right, then we'll need a clear cup. That way you can see everything, right? So we're gonna drop some of our cookies because remember, the dirt is mixed in with the 
with the rocks. So we're gonna put just a few rocks on the bottom. Let me get it where you guys can see it really well. All right, so we're gonna drop just a couple of cookies on the bottom. All right, we got some in there. Miss Heather's making a mess. All right, so we got some rocks and then we're gonna get some dirt, right? So this is pudding and we're gonna open our little pudding thing. We're gonna open it up and we're gonna take a shovel. It's like a dump truck. So we're gonna dump the dirt down into the rocks. So we got our dump truck, he's getting ready. He's gonna dump the dirt. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna put some dirt. All right, so we got dirt mixed in and we're gonna add some more cookies for rocks. If you guessed rocks, that's exactly what we're adding back. All right, so we're gonna add the rest of our cookies in there. All right, we got all our rocks in our aquifer. All right, so now we gotta bring our dump truck back, right? All right, so we gotta dump the rest of our dirt. Ready? Plop. All right, we gotta keep dumping our dump truck. We paid a lot for all that dirt. So we gotta make sure we drop all that dirt in there. You ready? Everybody say plop. All right, we gotta keep plopping. Last time, plop. All right, we're gonna spread it out just a little bit, not a whole bunch, but that's what dirt does. It spreads out, right? So we're gonna spread all that dirt out and we're plopping it down in there. All right, we got all the dirt. All right, and then you're gonna need a little bit of clear soda. And it's any kind of soda you wanna do. And that clear soda, that represents, what do you think? What comes clear out of the sky? Anybody guess? Miss Lee's class has been really good at, mute, at unmuting. Can you guys try it? Rain. Rain, exactly. So the clear soda, we're gonna pour it down in our dirt. Can you see it? See how it's all kind of, the dirt's kind of down into the rocks? all around there. All right, so I'm gonna turn it. You ready? I'm gonna hold it out. Maybe you can see the rain go down. Ready? All right. See it start going down into the rocks? All right. It's trying to go down. It's starting to sink down. There's, oh, you see the bubbles? Yeah, it's going down in there. All right, so we talked about the rain goes down and that in the anatomy of a spring and how a spring's made, it goes down into the little cavities. It goes down into the caverns, into the springs. And that's why our water, if it goes down into the cavities, it ends up going into a spring and it kind of comes up. Well, if the water doesn't come up and we need water, what do you have to do? Anybody know what you have at your house that you get water from? Anybody remember? From where? From the well or from the city where they have all these pumps that go down in. So this straw is our pump, okay? So we're gonna take our dirt and we're gonna take our, our well, our drill, we're gonna drill down into the aquifer, we're gonna push down and then we'll use the straw, that's our pump. And we found the water. So we were able to bring it back to the surface. Pretty cool, right? Everybody kind of understand where your water comes from now a little bit? All right, well, we've had some good fun talking about the aquifer and Bellamy's gonna come back now. And guess what time it is? It's time to move with Bellamy. So everybody stand up out of your seat. You ready to have a little bit of fun? All right. Yeah, so Bellamy move over this way, just a smidgen. Come back this way, yeah. So everybody do a little jig, everybody get up. We're gonna do a little bit of moving. All right, everybody stand up. Tell me, we forgot music. <laughs> but we're gonna dance around. We're gonna do a little something. Ready, everybody moving. Tell me, show them how you do that thing for the University of Florida. Everybody raise their hand up in the air, one of them up, one of them down. And what do you do? Yeah, so everybody do that real quick. Oh, we got some music all of a sudden, you ready? So we got some music. All right, you ready? We're gonna just dance for just a second. And some of you teachers might remember that song. <laughs> Good job, Bellamy. All right. 
So last month, we learned the 4-H pledge. So I want to see, and teachers definitely let me know, I want to know how many of you remember the pledge. You got bookmarks um, last month, so we'll see if you learned it. So you ready? All right, I'm going to count to three. You can see, I don't know if you can see really well, but the pledge is up here. Um, maybe you guys can see it a little bit. So I'm going to count to three, and we'll go through it. You ready? All right. One, two, three. I pledge my head to clearer thinking, my heart to greater loyalty, my hands to larger service, and my health to better living for my club, my community, my country, and my world. All right, teachers, how well did your kids do? We hope they did really good today. We need to practice some more. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to say it, and you guys repeat after me. So this is our practicing, okay? We're going to try it one more time. All right, I'm going to say something. You repeat it after me. So I pledge my head, I pledge my head to, clearer to clearer thinking, my heart, my heart to, greater loyalty, to greater loyalty, my hands, my hands to, larger service, to larger service, and my help. My help. <laughs> my help. My help. To better living. To better living. For my club. For my club. My community. My community. My country. My country. And my world. And my world. Good job, guys. Bellamy, high five. You even know it. Great job, Bellamy. All right, guys. We're going to tie things up today. Do you have any more last-minute questions? You guys did great to visit us today. We're so glad we got to see you. Okay. Bye. Bye, guys. It was good to see you.